This video is your notes for uh, two variable word problems, systems of equations. If you miss class or you need a little extra help again, um, we use the bun strategy. You want to box around the question, underline the keywords, and cross out the import, non-important information. There's always extra stuff that you don't need in here. All right, so looking at the problem, we, we have some steps. We want to bun this question. So the sum of two numbers, that's important. Sum is an important word. And I have two numbers. And this is is important uh, because it's the same as equals. The sum of two numbers is 54. So that's all important. Twice the smaller number decreased by the larger number equals 18. What are the two numbers? So I made a box around the question. I'm finding two numbers. So x is, I'm going to call my smaller number. And y is my larger number. Now I'm going to write some equations. So the sum of two numbers. If I add my smaller plus my larger, I get 54. Is always means equals again. Twice the smaller. So right above there, I can write an x. Decreased by the larger, that's y. So 2x decreased by is subtract. The larger is 18, or equals 18. Now this one is lined up perfectly for elimination. So you can to solve it, you can just add. 3x equals 72, divide by 3, x equals 24. And then I'm going to plug that back in for x. 24 plus some number is 54. That number has got to be 30. So my two numbers are 24 and 30. Marcy and Martha went shopping at a little pet store. Okay, great. That's exciting. We don't need it. Cat toys and dog bones were on sale. Okay, so probably that's what we're going to be finding, but I'm crossing it off. Marcy bought a toy for her cat and three bones for her dog. She spent $8.42. Martha bought two toys for her cat and a bone for her dog, and she spent seven oh nine. Okay, well, the question is, what were the sale prices for the cat toys and dog bones? So if C, you can use X and Y if you want, but uh, C and D are going to be what I'm going to use. C is a cat toy, and D is a dog bone. Sorry for the writing here. I'm going to try to use this pen. So now we need some equations. A toy for her cat, a toy, and three bones for her dog. That adds up to 842. Two toys for her cat, and a bone for her dog adds up to 709. So again, these are lined up elimination you can eliminate either variable. I'm just going to choose to eliminate C. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative 2. Negative 2C minus 6D equals negative 1648. Negative 5D. And then we're going to add those up or subtract those. So negative 9 39 sorry 1684 not 1648 so 84 minus 9 is 75 so I divide by negative 5 get my answer and I plug it back in and find the other answer you can solve it on your own you can solve equations next one a circus was in town and advertised the adult tickets were 12 and children tickets were 4. Okay, I don't really care that it was a circus. I do care there were adult tickets. They were 12 bucks each. Children tickets, 4 bucks each. There are 8 members in the Leach family that rode in the van. I don't really care that they rode in a van. I mean, vans are super cool, but I don't really care. They, they did pay $56. How many adults and how many children? Okay. So X and Y 
we already know the prices, so this is how many. So this is child and adult. Okay, first equation is pretty easy. Each adult ticket costs twelve dollars. And so twelve times that plus four times the youths adds up to 56. We don't know how many of each kind, but we know 12y plus 4x equals 56. The second one is how many, or is figuring out a second equation. Well, I know that there were eight members that were in the van. So y plus x equals eight. You could write x plus y, but I wanted to line up my variables. So since I went y plus x, I have, I'm gonna do y plus x here. Again, this is a good elimination problem and multiply this by negative 12. And then I can add my top equation to my bottom equation and eliminate y and get x. Once I find x, I plug it back in. Now, a couple things to note. You can't get a negative number here. You can't have a negative number of tickets. So that's a good way to check if you made a mistake in your math or your equation. I'll let you go ahead and solve it. Perimeter of a rectangle measures 176. The length is 30 inches more than the width. What are the dimensions? So I'm trying to find length and width. So I'm gonna call it L and W. L for length. W is for width. And I'm gonna make a picture. If I'm finding the perimeter of this table, it's if I were to walk around the table, you say we have the perimeter of the building surrounded. Well, that's length and width. Okay, so I gotta be able to come up with two equations. So the perimeter is the length plus the width plus the length plus the width. So two length plus two width, that's the perimeter. And then my second equation comes from that second sentence. The length is, is is a key word here. The length is 30 inches more than the width. So whatever you get for the width, it's 30 more. Now this equation is not set up for elimination. This is a substitution equation because L's by itself. So I can take out L from the first equation and put in W plus 30, and now it's solvable. So 2W plus 60 plus 2w equals 176. I can go ahead and finish solving that. Again, your answer needs to make sense. So whatever you get for w, you better be positive. And when you plug it back in for the, for the length, you better get a positive number. You can't have a negative measure. Okay, you can only have negative boyfriends and girlfriends. Fix a PC, that's cute. They charge $50 for computer problems and $15 an hour to repair. So in other words, they show up and it's 50 bucks and then they charge you by the hour. Computer World charges $12 an hour and $80 to diagnose. So they say $80 to tell you what the problem is and $12. So it's a little cheaper for the hour, but it costs more when they show up. This one's a little cheaper to show up and it costs more for them to fix. When will the cost of these two companies be the same? So we want to know when those are equal. So we want to write a couple expressions, okay? So we want to write an expression for fix a PC and an expression for computer world. Fix a PC, and these are not, these are not um, going to be our variables. Fix a PC is going to have a rate, and the rate for fix a PC is 50 bucks plus 
$15 for an hour of work, whatever that hour is. So and the, my variable is really gonna be just H for hours. We wanna know when is that equal to the cost of Computer World, which is $80 for a diagnosis, plus $12 an hour to fix. So when are those two the same? Now that's, that was not a two variable equation, that's a one variable equation. So if I think my repair is gonna take a long time, I pick one or one over the other. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and solve this, let's look at it. 80 equals 50 plus 3H minus 50. 3H equals 30. So if I go for 10 hours, that's a long computer repair, it's big computers. If I go for 10 hours, then the fix, fix it one is 50 plus 15 times 10, which is 150, that's $200. And the computer world would be 80 plus 12 times 10, which is also $200. So I've got it, that's when, at 10 hours is when they are the same. If I went nine hours, I could figure out which one is cheaper, etc. Okay, so we're gonna go do a couple of these we do problems, even though you're working with a partner, because this is a makeup assignment. So uh, this problem, they chose M to be the dollars for the matchbox car and K to be dollars for the model kit. So M plus 2K equals 11.89. To look at this one, these are, again, the variables are lined up. Whoa. The variables are lined up. So this is an elimination problem. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here, it's long enough. Uh, you can get the other ones from uh, the PowerPoint or in class.